Creating reports from Excel workbooks allow you a multitude of settings to suit custom requirements for your reports. For example, you can connect a chart to the online tag values in a worksheet. However, a template must be created from the workbook first. Next, we will demonstrate creating a template for our Excel workbook. Creating Excel workbooks for use by Data Monitor over the web is quite simple. First of all, as you have just learned, you simply need to create a template of an Excel workbook for reports. The next step is to determine what the event will be for creating the report. As discussed earlier, there are several events available. You can use a time-controlled event, a WinCC tag-based event, or a manual creation. A time-based event can be quite useful. For example, if you needed to create a shift report at the end of a production shift, you could use a trigger of a starting date with a time of, say, 5.01 p.m. or 17.01, and then select a daily event for this. Then, every day at 5.01 p.m., an Excel workbooks upon the template you define will automatically be created and made available via the web. If you choose to select a WinCC tag-based event, this event can be based upon the tag value changing, which would be appropriate type or, say, a bit. Or you can select a lower or upper limit, or both limits as the event. You click on the yellow WinCC tag icon to select the tag that should be used for the event. This will open up the tag selection. In our example, we have selected the internal tag group of simulation. On the right, we can see a table of all the tags from the simulation tag group. We have selected the ramp underscore one tag by simply clicking the red X icon, which then displays a green check mark indicating that the tag is selected. After you have finished making your selection, you simply click the apply button. To manually create a report, you select the report from the combo box of available reports and then select the target directory from the available folder. Next, you simply click the report button. Next, we will show you a demonstration of creating a report. 